Welcome back to another video and today we'll be taking a look and unboxing this new Jetson Nano developer kit. I've also got a few useful accessories for it which I'll show you as well. The Jetson Nano is a very compact and powerful microcontroller. It runs Linux and you can use it just like you would any other PC. You can actually output two 4K displays from this one tiny board which is crazy. If you're familiar with this kind of thing, you've probably heard of or already used the Raspberry Pi. This board is very similar to the Raspberry Pi 4 in terms of CPU performance and I.O. because it uses a very similar quad-core ARM chip. But the difference and the amazing thing about this board is that it has an NVIDIA Maxwell GPU built right in. So what's it for? Well, first of all, this board can pretty much do anything that a Raspberry Pi can do. It's essentially another Internet of Things device, but as I said, the unique thing about this is that it has a very powerful onboard GPU. The GPU really opens up the door to machine learning on these small smart devices. On this board alone, you can do things like computer vision, facial recognition, object detection, signal processing, and the list just goes on and on. I'll actually leave a link in the description below to the NVIDIA community page. We can see a lot of examples of the kind of things you can create with this board. So why is the GPU such a big deal? Training and running deep neural networks requires a lot of compute power that traditional CPUs just can't offer. GPUs are capable of much higher data bandwidth and parallel compute, which makes them the perfect choice for machine learning applications. As you guys know, I come from a hardware background and I've always been interested in microcontrollers such as the STM32, the ESP32, and in some cases, even the Arduino. But more recently, I've worked on a lot of projects designing, developing, and training deep neural networks. The fascinating thing for me about this board is that it crosses that bridge between deep learning and hardware development, which for a long time has not been possible, at least not in the maker or hobbyist community. So let's unbox this and I'll show you some of the additional accessories. The packaging is clean and very easy to open. The box just slides out and you're immediately greeted with the Jetson Nano. The board is enclosed in an anti-static bag and included in the box is a quick start guide and a stand for your Jetson Nano. Opening the bag reveals the Jetson Nano inside and straight away you can see it's really small form factor. The board itself looks really clean and we've got this chunky heatsink on the top which is obviously for that GPU. In terms of I.O. we have a DC socket, a HDMI, a display port, four USB type 3s, an Ethernet and a USB type C. Similar to the Raspberry Pi, we have a very nice selection of GPIO pins, which are obviously useful for communicating with other hardware. If you're truly gonna take advantage of the GPU, you'll wanna invest in a small five volt PWM fan. The fan connects really easily to the board with a simple four pin header. Personally, I think the fan makes the board look even better. You'll also want to pick up a micro SD card so that you can run your operating system. In order to run the board at its maximum potential, you'll want to invest in a 5 volt DC power supply that is capable of outputting 4 amps. The new board comes with two CSI sockets. This is a big deal, especially for computer vision applications, because it means you can connect two cameras. Each of these cameras is 8 megapixels and has a 200 degree field of view. This is the board with the fan installed. I love the way it looks and I can't wait to get started on some projects. So that's a brief overview of the Jetson Nano and you can definitely expect some projects from me on this board going forward. I really do think this board is incredible and it gets me really excited about the future. Just last month, Nvidia acquired ARM who not only make the CPUs for this board, but almost all other IoT embedded devices. In the next decade alone, we're really going to see AI and machine learning transition its way deeper into our lives. Now it's debatable whether that's a good or a bad thing, but I'll leave that one to your imagination. That's it for this video. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.